So uh, clearly a uh, trim uh, function did not really work very well and um, I suspect that because trim delegates the work to a substring call the substring was probably uh, added before we transitioned to the possibility of having dynamic memory allocation in our string so we just need to revisit um, the implementation of the substring function so let's take a look okay and uh, <coughs> This is our implementation, and uh, uh, yes, so our substring uh, right here clearly only uh, constructing a string uh, that uh, is uh, statically allocated and uh, never takes on account the possibility that it could have been allocated uh, with um, uh, holding some dynamic memory. So, okay, so we can uh, fix it like this. Um, Yes, uh, we can say that if um, if uh, our PSTR pointer to dynamics string is null, right? So it's typically you can say if not this pointer, which means that it's this pointer is null pointer, then we can just go ahead and return um, the string the way it is. So um, indicating that uh, this uh, is not uh, dynamically allocated string. So this would work fine. And of course, in the second version of our substring, we need the same thing. So I'll just uh, move this code right here and make these changes. Otherwise, uh, we need to uh, uh, proceed uh, uh, to um, allocate our string dynamically and uh, return a string that properly holds um, uh, this uh, pointer um, to dynamically allocated string. So here um, that takes care of the issue. So let's uh, copy and paste. Um, so this is uh, basically what, what uh, the new implementation does that we try to rely on string view as much as possible so we know how to extract substring and we're constructing tem temporary um, uh, object uh, and uh, when we um, have this temporary object we know what the actual length is going to be for the new substring so we just add one to accommodate uh, zero term in any character and then we use uh, 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 string copy version uh, stir and copy which uh, uh, copies specific uh, number of uh, uh, characters from the temporary uh, object and then uh, we make sure that we have a zero term in any character at the end we can actually uh, use uh, character notation here just like this zero character okay so this is zero term in any character and uh, return string with dynamically allocated uh, um, uh, pointer. Uh, so everything is taken care of. Very similar uh, implementation for the second version of substring. And uh, the only difference here is that we um, specify the range um, uh, from to. In actually, this what it does is that we specify the from position and the length of the substring. Everything else is the same. And again, we can use the, uh, the string literal instead of zero. I think it's better choice. Okay, so I'll just go in, I'm going to build again. And we can try testing it. So there you go. Uh, so if we switch back to the uh, our main uh, function you can see that uh, the new portion of what we did was um, of course we uh, fixed the problem with assignment now assignment takes care of uh, deep copying and deallocating resources as necessary also uh, we uh, now we have a pretty good working version of concatenation so we've tried to concatenate some characters at the end of the string then also in front of the string. So now we have both. Now we have the stream that uh, takes care of, um, you know, uh, 
uh, removing this uh, 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 leading and trailing spaces and so it becomes the actually the original string with which we started at the very beginning and now we're also testing to lowercase and to uppercase and you see that uh, all characters become first lowercase and then we again convert them to uh, convert them to an uppercase and each time we recreate uh, the instance refresh the instance of hello because recall that all of the functions uh, that uh, change something in the string or concatenate or modify anything um, they return a brand new copy of the string so if you if if we want to work with the new copy we definitely have to use the assignment operator here so this is uh, uh, something that we could uh, uh, now uh, rely on and uh, in the future we'll be adding a few more functions to make string behave like java string even more